Hello, Covenant family. I am so thankful that I am part of a family of faith who loves to pray together. We've had several requests that there be more opportunities for prayer on some of these videos. And so I'm gonna move into what we would normally do on a Sunday morning of a time of pastoral prayer and corporate prayer together. Let us start with a few moments of silence so that we can each pray to our God who we know offers us new mercies each day, who knows our hearts and our minds and desires to heal us, offering us forgiveness and invitation to new life in Jesus Christ. Let us go to our God together in prayer. O God of grace, we come to you on this Palm Sunday in the midst of a shelter in place order, in the midst of a global tragedy. And God, we are thankful for who you are, our God who is present always, our God whose love reigns in all times and places. God, we thank you for who you are. We thank you for the truths that we hold to in this time and always. God, in this tragic moment in our history, we pray for all of those who are most directly impacted, for those who are mourning the loss of loved ones, those who are afflicted. God, would you be with them? Would you be with all who give them care? God, would you be with them in body, heart, and soul? God, we pray for all those who do give them care and all the many across our society and world who are working together so hard in so many ways, in whatever way they can, God, to keep one another safe, to heal everyone that they can. We thank you for those who are on the front lines. We thank you for those who are making decisions. We pray for President Trump and his whole administration and our entire elected Congress, Lord, as they seek to do what they can to keep us safe, Lord, to continue our economy in the ways that, Lord, are best for everyone. God, we pray for all those on our prayer list. We thank you for the ways that the prayer chain is going on through our Facebook page, and we pray for all of those prayer concerns, Lord, that we have before us today. God, we pray for all of those who are in a especially vulnerable time, whether it's those without shelter, whether it's those living with many others, whether it's those because of their age or health. God, we pray for those suffering from addiction. We pray for those who suffer from mental illness. We pray for the many, many people who are depressed. And God, we pray, Lord, for those who are lonely. God, would you bless all of them? God, would you make them know your love and presence? God, would you help your church to be your body? We celebrate you and we thank you for the ways in which this church is responding. We thank you for the ways in which we are in a, maybe the most profound way in our history aware of the ways in which you have made us a family and we love each other and we care for each other. Help us to not miss any and to care for all well. God, we thank you on this Palm Sunday that Jesus Christ is our King. As we remember the crowds who honored him, shouting Hosanna, God, we join them and we say together today that Christ is our King, that Jesus, we believe in you, God, we want to be faithful disciples. God, we proclaim you to be the Lord of our lives. Help us, God, to say yes to you. By your grace, would you give us faith that we may, Lord, be found to be faithful disciples. God, we thank you that you are king, that you are alive in this world, and that we can look and see you and find reasons for testimony, reasons for celebration each day. The good news of Jesus Christ, God, continues to be the best news in the world and exactly what we need. God, we thank you for the salvation that there is in you and the invitation to all of us. We thank you for your peaceful kingdom. We thank you for the ways in which you surprise us with your love and the ways in which you transform us, Lord, bringing good news in the midst 
of so much need. God, we thank you for who you are, and we praise you together, praying the prayer that you have taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.